Okay guys, here is your frog. A um, few things to point out. There are two sides of the frog. The dorsal is the back side and the ventral is the belly side. Um, on the outside of your frog, if we go through our packet, when you measure it, you're measuring it from the head down to the butt essentially, um, along the backbone. Um, and the length of the frogs we've had so far in the room have been about 11 to 12 centimeters. Um, there are four legs and hind legs. So four legs are up front, hind legs are in the back. Um, you can see for the four leg there are one, two, three, four fingers. Um, you can see those. And then the hind legs, there is one, two, three, four, five fingers like you have. Oops, sorry, I was under the camera. So again, four legs has four fingers, hind legs have five. Um, we're going to look at the eye next. So the tympanic membrane covers the eye, or sorry, the nictitating membrane, not tympanic membrane. Um, it covers the eye here and protects the eye. It's clear. So I'm actually going to cut that membrane so that I can take the lens out. Um, the lens of the eye is inside here. So you kind of have to pop this membrane and cut. And then the lens is inside here. The lens can be a little bit tricky to cut out, but it's this hard, clear ball. Helps the frog see. So you can see that is the lens or the eyeball. It feels pretty cool because it feels kind of like glass. That's the lens of the eye. And again, the um, nicotating membrane is this clear protective layer so the frog can see underwater. Um, on the outside of the frog, grab another tool. Okay, so here with our frog, we have the tympanic membrane, which is right here. It's circular. It's essentially the same thing as our ear, um, but it doesn't have the external flap the way we do. But it is used for the frog to hear. Um, so we're going to open up the mouth of the frog. Sometimes you have to cut into the jaw in order to open the mouth wide. Cut the jaw bone on either side. Yeah, this is the thing that I stuck it down. Bryson, let's cut it open. Okay, so as I open the frog's mouth, it's been sitting in water, so that's why there's some liquid. So immediately we can see the tongue. You'll notice the tongue is pretty big and it's attached at the front, um, which is different from ours. Um, I'm going to cut the tongue out here so we can see into the frog's mouth. Okay, so in the, once we're in the frog's mouth, a few obvious features. There is the um, esophagus, which is where the food goes down, and it's essentially just the hole that's going to lead to the digestive system. Um, there's a little slit right here, and that is the glottis. That allows the frog to make sound, um, and it connects to its respiratory tract. Um, on the side here, you can see these two holes. They are the eustachian tubes. They are used for equalizing pressure in the frog's ear, and it leads to the tympanic membrane, which I said is essentially like, if I poke that through, through that hole, it leads to the tympanic membrane, which is essentially the outer ear. So you station tube, inner ear, tympanic membrane, outer ear. The frog has two different types of teeth. The maxillary teeth are on the outside. I can feel them along the edge here. And then the um, it has inner teeth, the vomerin teeth are two at the top of its, um, the roof of its mouth. That's it for the inside of its mouth. So now, I'll check in a sec. Now we're gonna open up the frog. So I'm gonna cut a few slits here. This might take me a second. Oh, that's not actually as gross as I thought it was. It's not even that good.
So in the outer layer of the frog, so again, I'm on the ventral side, there's two layers that I have to cut through. There's the skin and the muscle. <laughs> okay, so two flaps. So the skin's the outer layer here. I'll show you the separation once I get this cut open. And then there's a layer of muscle underneath the skin. A little bit hard sometimes because you get into the sternum or the kind of the we have a sternum as well the front of the rib cage so sometimes you have to break through that okay so this is the skin flap here are you gonna help your partner So we have the skin flap, and then as I peel that apart, you can see I have muscle underneath. So now I'm going to cut through this muscular layer, and then I can see more of the internal organs. This that kind of connect, clear connective tissue is called mesentery. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that's the stuff that we're on. Oh, cool. Yep. How do you cut? I think I just saw a little hand. Oh, you cut them everything. I did. Well, I cut open the skin and the muscle layer. Yep. Are you going to take everything from the inside? Yep. No? Yep. Oh. Uh, Miss Stafford, I just found like little hands. Those are the fat bodies. Okay, so as we look. Oh, no. That's what, Johnny, I'll be right with you. If we look at the inside of the frog, so the really obvious feature here is our liver. It's three lobes. Not in human, but in the frog, there's three lobes. One, two, three. And the heart is here in the center. Um, that's what was protected by the, the uh, kind of the sternum, that bone there that I had to cut. Um, on the either side, you should have the lungs, and these are going to be kind of black and spongy. So there's one lung. And the other side, there should be a second lung back here, kind of hidden away right there. I'll come over in a second. It can be hard. Um, this is the small intestines here. And there's a little mesentery layer. Um, you can pull this out and see how long, but you can see it's kind of connected by this layer that's ripping. Um, and then we have the stomach is this large J-shaped pouch, um, and the large intestines is down here, this sack here. Um, this is the spleen, it kind of looks like a hard uh, black bean or kidney bean. The gallbladder is pretty obvious because it's uh, a green pouch here, looks like a little deflated pea. Um, and these down here are fat bodies, and this frog is a, doesn't have a ton of them, but these are fat bodies. I'm gonna take out a few of these things. Um, this is actually this pouch, I think I poked into it, but that pouch down there is the bladder. You have the kidney, which is dark, this reddish dark, 
thing right here. Um, oh, really? and Tiny, swiggly, they look like, I don't know, kind of like ramen noodles here. Ovidoc, and then it does have a testes, which is this white kidney bean shaped thing. And then the kidneys are along the backbone. Uh, I know it's not a female, there's no eggs. Um, the Ovidoc's on this side, over here. And then that is the other testes. And the kidney on this side, so there's two kidneys along the flank. This is the stomach and large intestines. Um, this was the bladder, the sac here, and then the cloaca would be the opening that would come out to the outside.